hi guys i finally made a video it's been i don't know how many weeks maybe like three weeks and i've been saying that i was gonna make a video and i haven't made it because i've been so undecisive about what i want to actually film so i went to virginia for two weeks and while i was there my god sister tori told me about the Too Faced Peach Palette, Sweet Peach Palette. And I was like, what's that? I, I haven't heard about it, da 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 da. So I haven't bought, I really don't buy expensive palettes because they're always like $50. And I will go to Ulta for hours and be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that one, I like that one. And find colors that I really like in a palette, but I won't buy it because it's so high and I'm so broke. No, nah, I'm not broke, but um, I do pay bills and I have to manage my money, right? But anyway, so I bought the palette. I bought it in Virginia while I was there and I actually made a video, but it's hard to make a video without people talking in the background. So I finally have the house to myself. Well, my mom and my stepdad are here, but they're quiet. But my nieces aren't here, my brother's not here, and it's quiet. So I went ahead and was like, okay, let me make another video without any noise in the background. So anyways, excuse my hair, I usually don't have it in a ponytail, but I was like, I don't want to wear it straight down again. That's the same thing I did last time, so I try to do something a little different. But anyways, let's get right to it. I bought the peach palette, which looks like this. And then I also bought a NYX tinted eyebrow mascara just because, and this is like, this was 50 and this was, I don't know, maybe like $6. But yeah, I bought it because I was like, let me try something new for these eyebrows. And I hate my eyebrows just because they don't have arches. One has a better arch than the other and they just look, ugh. but you know, gotta do what you gotta do so anyways i bought the peach palette and the eyebrow tinted mascara and then i also bought some lip paint which is just like a lipstick lip gloss type of deal but it was twenty dollars it's from tarte i really liked it though so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and try to buy that but anyways when i bought this i was so excited because it was fifty dollars well it was forty nine dollars and then when she rang it up she's like okay, your total's $51 and some, some cents. And I was like, what? It should be like at least like 55, maybe something like that. Because in Texas, our tax is 8.25 or something like that. And then in Virginia, it's 5.1 or 5.3. So I was like, hey, you know, got a little discount or whatever. Not really, but oh well. So anyways, I'm gonna show you some colors on the actual palette. This is what the inside looks like. It's so pretty and it smells good. If you've never bought a pe if you've never bought a Too Faced palette, buy one so you can at least um have your own experience. Experience buying something that's so high, but see how much quality you can find in it because I really really liked it and it was so pretty whenever I tried on the colors. But anyways, I'm gonna start and there is there is can I not count right now okay there's 18 colors yee okay so anyways um there's 18 colors which I think is pretty good because in palettes that are $50 there's usually like maybe 12 or less than that 12 shades or 12 colors so this is really good but anyways, um, we'll start with the first one. The first one's White Peach. And White Peach kind of looks like this. All right, hopefully all of these fit on my arm. And hopefully you guys can see that. That's White Peach. And then here is Luscious, which is like a pretty gold color that I love it's like ooh, it's like rose gold like yeah and a lot of these colors are like rose gold colors so I really like them the next one is just peachy 
a pretty pink color yeah i don't know if you guys can see it on my dark arms but anyways that's just peachy and then here's my favorite color olive and it is bless her heart so here's like a pretty green color there we go pretty 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 i wear everything green like literally i have pants that are green i have too many shirts that are green um i just like the color green and i even have shoes that are colored green but i never wear makeup that's green because like what the hell who the hell wears makeup that's green but i tried the eyeshadow and i actually liked it so anyways all right here's tempting which is like like um I don't know it's like some kind of black it's not black but it's like a weird black I don't know all right um here is charmed I'm sure this is a pretty brown and I used it for a transition color the other day so there's that and then nectar which I really like um I try to use it as an eyelid color because it's nectar is like kind of like a yellow gold um gold color and i tried to cover like my whole eyelid with it because i love using gold eyeshadows and it was like white dust on my face or on my eyelid so don't do that if you're my skin tone because it won't look right um but you can like use it to start with right here in the corner of your eye and it'll like make your eyes kind of pop but anyways the next one is Cobbler, which is so cute. That one's so pretty. I really like that one. That one's so cute. And they smell so good. And a good thing about these eyeshadows is when you're applying them, you don't have a lot of fallout like underneath your eye. Like I hate that because how the hell are you supposed to wipe that off after you already put your foundation on like so anyways these ones aren't like all dusty and stuff like you put your brush in them and pack it onto your eyelid okay the next one is candied peach all right i'm gonna start on this arm because my arms are getting full okay there's that color um so it's a peachy color and it really does not show all that good on my skin tone so i don't know if it's just my arm but i don't know anyways it's still pretty but it doesn't show up as good as it does on the palette all right here's like my favorite color this is like the true rose gold color it's called bellini i don't know how to say that b-e-l-l-i-n-i -I. I don't know bellini i don't know but it's so cute and i love it so pretty Alrighty, here is peach pit this one is like a maroon color well like a dark dark maroon all right there it is uh next one is delectable which is purple and I never wear purple eyeshadow but I'll have to play in this palette and see how good it looks mm, I don't think there's anything really special about that one maybe I just don't like purple eyeshadow but there that is okay uh, peaches and cream I think I tried to use this and I think I liked it anyways it shows up pretty good maybe as a base if you don't like using like um those bases that are like sticky for your eyeshadow you could use that Alrighty, georgia i use this as a transition color and please use transition colors use them they will help you blend so much better with your eyeshadows Alrighty. That one, if you wanted to do like pink eyeshadows, you could use that as a transi transition color too. And that's Georgia. All right, here's caramelized. I don't know if you say caramel or caramel, but 
I don't know. Anyways, I've used this color a few times also. Because it's so pretty. It's like a brownish goldish color. Coppery, like a penny kind of. But cute. All right, and here is, okay, now I'm going to just go on my hand. Um, the There's three more. Puree. Pure. Puree. I don't know. It's P-U-R-E-E. -E. I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, this is a brown eyeshadow. You can't really see it that good. I don't know. But I use it as a transition color to use for my eyeshadow. So, to me, a transition color shouldn't really pop. It should just be kind of dull. At least for me, that's what I use. Like, dull colors. Dull brown tan colors to transition. Um, here is Summer Yum. And this is a pretty one, too. If you want to blend, like, more brown or maroon colors. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's Summer Yum. And the last one is Talk Derby to me. Ooh, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's cute. It's like, it reminds me of, like, Midnight. I don't know if I would use it on myself. But look at that. Oh, my gosh. You see how it shows up so well on my finger, and then on my hand, it's like, uh, okay. Well, anyways, that's the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Those are all the colors, and I know I'm so late. Everybody's probably already got their reviews out, but oh well, your girl is on YouTube, and I'm trying to do what I can do. Also, in the package, there's this. Which, I don't know if y'all use these or not, but I would like to try some of these looks. There's three different looks, yeah. And then, so it shows you how to do them. And then on the back, it shows you what it looks like or what it's supposed to look like. But anyways, I've got, I've had, I've had the palette for about three weeks now. And I've had time to play in it and make different looks. So, I know a lot of people who like to do makeup, but won't actually try different eyeshadows, mix colors, use transition colors, use colors you